Hello everyone, welcome to GV Ready Automation World. Today I came up with uh, one more interesting uh, topic that everyone should know. Right, before that, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe to it. Enable notification for more interesting videos. Right, in future, uh, I will release uh, more interesting videos on automation. Right, <clears throat> please share to your friends. Right, uh, today's topic is top 10 selenium interview mistakes to avoid right in interview right before going to interview right what are the things we need to make sure right then we will see one by one i have noted down top 10 mistakes what we will do right basically right we will go right first one is lack of uh, right basic uh, selenium knowledge Right, a lack of uh, basic uh, selenium knowledge. Right, right, without uh, right preparing well on the basic concepts. Right, we will prepare a lot of things, but we will sometimes ignore basic uh, concepts of the selenium. Right, what is a web driver? How to create the driver instance? What are the locators? What are the weights? Right, basic questions. Right, uh, we will forget. Right, that is the we will prepare more on the selenium right basic things maybe sometimes uh, right we may overlook it right who will ask these basic questions right we must always <coughs> right more confident on basic right sometimes they will ask right immediately right uh, we cannot get it right suppose simply they will ask uh, how you will create a driver instance right sometimes we may uh, forget it right uh, because of right some tension will come right we did not practice well right then we will get a nervous uh, because of that uh, right uh, we know everything but we are unable to present there so we must uh, right before going basic selenium knowledge must very very important selenium basic knowledge right we must thoroughly go through the all the concepts right and the syntaxes right driver dot get how to open right inside a double quotes we have to give the semicolon right each syntax syntax right simple things only but they will play a vital role right understanding the web driver interface right different browser uh, uh, object creations right locators what are the different locators right what are the different weights available right we have to prepare all the basic concepts that is the one thing we must make sure all the basic thoroughly we have to prepare basic concepts of it right over reliance uh, right of theory without practical right we mostly right most of the people will concentrate right in show interest on theoretical right we must right we did not practice well that is one more right thing right in interview we can clear all the theoretical questions if they will ask we can tell but suddenly they will ask, uh, write down the syntax of it, right? Explicit weight syntax, fluent weight syntax. They will ask uh, Windows syntax, frame syntax. Right? Very, very, very important. Right? It's not enough just to explain the concepts. You, we must uh, in a position to demonstrate with the code. Right? We can explain the code. Right? Uh, we must uh, write when you when we practice more, then only we will remember those syntaxes. So we must practice it, right? Most of the people, right? Ninety percent of the people, right? When I take interview, also when I will also take some interviews, right? They will good at the theoretical part, but uh, right? They will uh, neglect, uh, right? Writing the practice themselves, right? We have to practice on the paper. Keep, keep, take the paper and pen and write down it so that. Right, you will remember the syntax. Right, it will show. Right, interviewer, okay, we know all the concepts and uh, you know the syntaxes very well. Right, you will get impressed. Right, practice with all the topics. Right, then uh, poor understanding of the test frameworks. Right, we will study all the sometimes Selenium concepts, uh, test engine concepts, and uh, reporting concepts. Uh, right uh, how to read excel how to read property we are good at all those things but uh, 
how to integrate in the test and the framework level right we know all the individual concepts but while integrating to the framework right we must right sometimes we will not prepare that right most of the people on 99% we will not prepare right framework level we know each individual concept we can explain very well but uh, how they integrate with the framework right then we will get uh, some difficulty right challenges so we must prepare at least simple project we can prepare simple project like by taking simple thing selenium integrate selenium test ng right report extent report and then excel concept property by right how to read how to integrate how to execute with the cross browser testing right uh, what are the challenges we will face while running right while running the right test ng file parallelly right we will know if we practice then only we will know those issues right it takes simple thing and practice it so that right we will know framework level right how we will understand we must very strong in framework level to explain it to right end to end framework from jenkins to right integration from jenkins to how we will integrate uh, git to jenkins or maven to jenkins right how we will execute using maven right or using test ng how the flow will go what are the right where we are maintaining page classes test classes utility classes reports and legends these are all we must be prepared then only we will know we can explain confident write down in the paper structure right write down the framework structure and what you are maintaining right just to prepare it so that we will get more knowledge on it we can explain more right we we must to explain in a confident way whatever we are learning we should explain in a confident when you are when you will get confident when we practice it then only we will get confident right otherwise what will happen we know but right while explaining we will not get right properly right i have used excel we will say right not confidently we cannot say so we know concepts but we are unable to explain right if you spend right some more time right we can explain confidently right be confident while explaining the framework ignoring cross browser compatibility issues right and that means uh, while right they will ask definitely we will get this question right we will uh, what are the different cross browser compatibility issues we will get right we have we must we should know the all the how to handle cross browser suppose they will ask how you right create a object when you are running cross browser right we must know right this is some sample code suppose get driver we are passing the browser from where we will pass from the test ng parameter or from the runtime parameter right we can based on that whatever uh, right uh, browser we will send based on that we will create the object of the driver right what are the cross browser issues we will get right suppose one they will ask one what are the challenges you have faced while executing in the cross browser right sometimes it will work in chrome it will not work in firefox due to slowness of that application right we have to explain then how we overcome it right by using dynamic weights we have overcome it right what are the other challenges right we have to note note down note down the challenges and write down how we achieve it right those are all we must prepare it right not addressing right handling dynamic elements right very very important thing right dynamic weights we must know what is the explicit weight fluent weight in which scenarios we will use explicit and fluent weights right we must know right whenever application is dynamically changing the locators we must go for dynamic weights either way explicit or fluent weights right we must know what is the syntax and when in which scenario we will go for these weights right then uh, neglecting error handling and reporting right very very important right Expe exception handling we must know exception handling why to use exception handling right whenever there is an exception we must 
catch that exception we must in the report we must clearly mention what is the issue right why the test case is failed then only right we are able to easily understand okay because of this we got test case got failed otherwise what will happen again you will run right to verify it again you will run suppose 100 you run 100 test cases 20 test cases are failed right if you don't maintain proper uh, right exception handling reporting mechanism right logging mechanism then what will happen again we have to execute those 20 manually and we have to verify and automation also we have to execute and we need to see where it is failing again right sometimes we must run it right that is fine but at least high level we should if you write the proper exception handling proper reporting mechanism proper logs sometimes it will help us out of 20 10 we without debugging it right we can fix it maybe due to locator got changed right we can clearly mention that right in the report this locator is not working right then we can easily okay we can verify go and uh, go to the manually we will verify update it simply otherwise what will happen why it is failed i don't know we have to debug it we have to see it right at least 50 percent if you write uh, clear logging reporting then we can without debugging we can 50 percent we can easily resolve it maybe 50 percent we have to again uh, run and see it right we should not neglect the error handling and reporting Right, poor explanation of the page object model. Right, very very important. Right, nowadays uh, all projects, right, ninety percent of automation projects are following page object model. So we must clearly explain why we are using the page object model. What are the advantages of it? Right, maintain. Right, right to maintain the right framework. Right, clearly. Right. Suppose page classes, where the page classes, where the test classes, we have to segregate page classes, page logic separately, test logic separately. Right. Page object model, what it will tell, we have to create uh, each page in the UI, whatever pages are there, we have to create separate page for each one. So that what is the advantage? Tomorrow someone is came, okay, where is this page code? By using page name they will identify easily okay this is the page related to this is the ui page right tomorrow if you want to update any code we can easily identify maintenance will be very easy right scalability we can easily add the right more pages on top of it if we maintain the page object model test cases we can add easily we can reusable the code reusability right mostly we can reuse the code Right, there are a lot of advantages. Note down the, all the advantages. Why we are using page object model? What object? What are the advantages we will get? Right. Then uh, not understanding the limitations of Selenium. Right. This is also very important. What are the limitations of Selenium? Right. We will prepare well with all the selenium question but sometimes interview they will ask what are the challenges what are the limitations right suddenly we will not get what are the challenges it will support selenium will support only web application testing right we cannot automate a desktop application api right it don't have any inbuilt reporting it don't have right recapture support it has a right authentication supports multi factor authentication captcha Right, DB testing, right, mobile testing. Right, these are all the limitations of the Selenium. Right, file upload and download. Right, these are all we should know. What are the limitations of the Selenium? Right, what are the advantages? What are the limitations? Both we should know. Right, being value about performance optimization techniques, efficient test improve, execution and speed and reliability. Right, we must know the optimization techniques. How to optimize the suppose already framework is there, it is taking a time. Now manager will ask, right? Can you verify all the test cases? Can you improve the performance of the test cases? And right, 
increase the decrease the time of execution time right why we are writing test case we have to identify the defects of the application within a less time right how we can improve right execution speed and reliability of the test cases we must know one is we can see first thing is we have to verify is there any hardware right why it will take longer time execution because of hardware we have to verify is there any hardware right we can check is there any possibility to remove hardware right and uh, if you are executing sequentially then we can see how we can achieve parallel testing right how we can achieve parallel testing right then we can see the how to execute a headless mode we can execute in headless mode it will improve the right uh, time we can save the some time if you execute parallel and headless mode we can save the some time and we can verify any hard weights we can remove with the dynamic weights right these are the things we can do right in headless mode if you want to suppose already parallel mode is there but they are running in single mission we can ask for grid setup we can do the grid setup on multiple missions we can execute 20 threads parallelly right so that we can decrease the lot of time we can save a lot of time right that also we can see right not being prepared to answer coding questions right coding questions we must prepare right nowadays if you go to any interview right they will ask java programming questions to write down or selenium questions they will ask some right they will give some scenarios right we have to we must be well prepared with the questions practice questions also right a famous question is how to find a broken links right they will ask right interviewer will ask to write down the code or java questions we have to prepare java questions very well right primary number fibonacci series right fibonacci series prime number right duplicate character reverse of the integer number number reverse string reverse right at least basic questions we have to prepare right i have already started 30 day java programming challenge if you haven't watched it please there is a every day 2 pm each one question is uh, we are starting right java programming challenge you can participate in that right you can improve the your program right if you haven't uh, watched it please go and watch 30 day challenge in the playlist also you can see the 30 day challenge right we can we must know the all the prepare well prepare with the right practical questions right final thoughts right before going to interview we must prepare well for the basic questions at least see all the concepts of selenium we must prepare if you at least basic question if you tell they will get some impression right if you are not able to explain a simple question right how you will create web driver you are not able to understand how you will write uh, uh, handle the links you are unable to tell how do you handle frames you are unable to tell basic questions right then they will not further question they will not get interest to move to further questions so at least prepare basic questions very well right then we have to practice daily theory right practical question we have to practice it java programs are very much whatever are we a python programmer java programmer or shisha program we must learn the programs on which language you are more confident just to prepare questions uh, programs on that language right thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel if you not yet uh, subscribe if you have any queries or suggestions please comment in the comment section please share to your friends right uh, it will be helpful for your friends right uh, please like the video thanks for watching